And in just a few hours, Andrew Cuomo will step down as governor of the Empire State. What he said in his last public address to the people of New York. From the team you can trust. This is News 8 at 5. Good evening, everyone. As the sun sets on Andrew Cuomo's decades-long career in New York politics, a message from the soon-to-be former governor. His resignation, the result of a report accusing him of sexual harassment and a related impeachment threat. Allie Peters covering this transition of power for us today and joins us now. Allie? After 11 years, Andrew Cuomo is stepping aside as governor. In an address to New Yorkers, he continued to deny the sexual harassment accusations against him. But he also said stepping down was in the best interest of the people, and he thanked those who have supported him. Thank you for the honor of serving as governor of New York. After more than a decade as governor, Andrew Cuomo is stepping down. In a 15-minute video, he addressed the people of New York one last time. Always stay New York tough, smart, united, disciplined, and loving. Cuomo started his address again by denying the sexual harassment accusations against him, saying the situation has been, quote, unfair and unjust. But he also said not stepping aside would do more harm to the state. Prolonging this situation could only cause governmental paralysis. And that is just not an option for you. For over a year, Cuomo has been a face of the COVID-19 pandemic. And while he faced some criticism for his handling of nursing home deaths, he went on to win an Emmy for his daily briefings. During his address, he took one last opportunity to share his recommendations to fight the virus. Teachers must be vaccinated for their protection and for our children's protection. Masks must be required in high-risk areas, and private businesses must mandate proof of vaccination for large gatherings. As for what's next for Cuomo, it's still unclear, but he did file for retirement last week, effective September 1st. It's estimated that he will receive a pension of $50,000 a year. In the studio, Allie Peters, News 8. Allie, thank you. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul will be sworn in at midnight as New York's next governor. She'll be the first woman to hold that position. Hochul plans to run for a four-year term next year, and her supporters are looking forward to seeing her run on her own platform. 